at 36 and the qualified doctor Hammam Al Balawi was also apparently a man able to move comfortably within the murky circles of the American CIA, Jordanian intelligence, the Pakistani Taliban and allegedly the higher echelons of Al Qaeda, an ability that led him to carry out a suicide attack against American CIA agents in Afghanistan. Believed to have new critical information, he was admitted to the American base in Khost province as a trusted source or informant. His alleged Jordanian handler, Captain Ali bin Zaid, a minor member of the Jordanian royal family, was one of those killed in the subsequent attack. Hammam al balawi was not unknown in intelligence circles. He came from the impoverished Jordanian city of az where he worked as a doctor. He was suspected of ties to Al-Qaeda and arrested by Jordanian authorities in 2007, who believed they had managed to successfully turn him into a double agent. The Jordanian intelligence for years has been one of the CIA's closest and most useful allies in the Middle East. Identified as a potentially valuable informant before carrying out the host attack, El Balawi may very well jeopardize Jordan's intelligence cooperation with Washington in the future. The Balawi affair has certainly revealed that Jordan is more active in Afghanistan than previously imagined, a revelation that has angered Jordanian opposition groups. The Jordanian constitution stipulates clearly defining the missions and assignments of the Jordanian armed military forces. Therefore, sending Jordanian forces abroad outside the framework of defending Jordanian national security on Jordanian soil is considered a violation of the constitution. We can call this incident a double embarrassment. If it happened in any other respectable and democratic country, governments there would fall and collapse. Amman has denied it has a role in the U.S.-led coalition's operations in Afghanistan. But the country has a proven intelligence record, and it was Jordanian information that was the key behind the 2006 American capture of Al-Qaeda leader Abu Mus'ab al-Zarqawi in Iraq. By presenting itself as a trusted U.S. ally in the fight against global extremism, Jordan may have done itself more harm than good following this latest incident. Shamaile Al-Jazeera. Amman.